Mike Benjamin's field. on first. <laughs> Jason Veritek. It's Evans back. It is well back. It's not coming back. back. And we won't hit a guy in the back. No one's back there. Veritek's first major league homer. Some good D by the Sox. Felix Martinez, the ground ball. Mo Vaughn diving out. Wakefield a cover. They worked on that. Still in the Mike's seventh. No, the not still in the seventh, but they're in the seventh. Mike Benjamin, the squeeze. Jeff King thinks he has the ball. He doesn't. He sees a runner go to first. Damon Buford coming to score to make it 3 0. And Boston's a winner 3 1. The Red Sox are giving the Yanks good chase. That was win number 20 in the last 26 games. Tim Pocket. Perfect through three. Kenny Lofton, the hot one down to first. Will Clark making the play unassisted. And Bergen still perfect. Fifth inning, Tomei again. Just another case of the man keeping us down. Actually, Rodriguez threw it a bit early. This time, he can throw it for sure because that's the strikeout pitch. Three Ks through five, still perfect. Two nothing in the fifth. Juan Gonzalez in the plate, a runner on first. He goes into the gap. Left center field, Rusty Greer's coming around from first. Still racing, he'll score. Gonzalez with 46 RBI this year. It leads the major. Seventh inning, Burkett, perfect. Getting help defensively. Kenny Lofton roping it. Juan Gonzalez diving, making the play. The kind of thing that keeps a perfect game alive. Now the seventh inning after striking out Little O. Manny Ramirez at the plate, two out, but he rips that. There goes the no-hitter. There goes the perfect game. But still a good one for the Rangers, winning it by a count of 5-3. to three. Now, Burkett, no perfect game in this thing, but he does have five career perfect bowling games. This time he goes eight innings pitch, two hits, five Ks. And something different. To Alex Rodriguez. Home run. Two-run dong. A-Rod's 12th of the season. Mariners are up by a count of 2 nothing. Same score, top of the eighth. Jays with the bases loaded. Nobody out against Jeff Facero. Sean Green missing that. Seattle turns to Mike Timlin against Jose Canseco. Takes a while to develop. The grounder to third. Russ Davis, there's one, stepping on the bag. Wings it across for the double play. Mariners get out of the jam. Eighth inning, and Bertie Griffey wants a home run. She was promised a home run. 20 games. Kenneth is amused by the simplicity of this game. His 15th of the season just did get inside the pole. Afterward, Kenneth turned shy. Seattle's a winner, 3-1. to one. Chicago. Andres Galarraga, bottom of the fourth. And Baltimore. A former Brave Pete Smith with a man aboard, Braves within one. 13th on the year for Galarraga. Top of the seventh, Braves up 5-4, trying to make it stick, and guess who comes calling? Galarraga! Robbing Eddie Williams, doubling up Greg Vaughn as we look at it again. The nimble, cat-like quickness of Galarraga. Bottom of the seventh, one on two outs for Ryan Klesko, facing Donnie Wall. Gone. Deep to right field. Fifth on the year for Klesko. Braves win it 8 to 5. Braves went 9 and 2 on this 11 game homestand. Tony Gwynn had a base hit. Now hand for Blauser. Blauser flips the glasses down. Battling the sun, battling the win, and making the grab. Top of the sixth. Still no score. Mark Clark matching zeros with Hershiser. Hershiser trying to put a dent into that. Kevin Ory! Comes up throwing. Clark pitched eight scoreless innings. Top of the ninth. Still no score. Darrell Hamilton at first. Bill Miller hits a bullet. Sammy Sosa comes up throwing. Moving toward third. Hamilton. Sosa. Blauser can't come up with a short hop. Bounces away. Hamilton scores. Clark frustrated. Giants go on to win it by the final of three to nothing in pursuit of his first National League win in nearly four years. Four-game series. Brian Meadows, fly ball. deep to right center. Raul Mondesi got a great jump, and he saves three runs as the bases were loaded. Bottom of the second with two outs. Mondesi at the plate. Oh Lord! It's got the distance. Fifth of the year. Dodgers lead two nothing. Ishmael Valdez facing Gary Sheffield. Gary waits on the breaking ball and he's left the building. But you think that went deep? How about this one? Derek Lee. 447 feet. Seventh on the year. Dodgers lead cut to 42. Valdez will regain control. Oh, how about that breaking ball? Freezes Lee on his next plate appearance. And how often does it happen? The guys traded for each other. Pitch against each other. Milton against Knobloch. He doubles. He would later score on a sack fly, not picture. Now to the fourth. Three nothing Yankees. And Milton will pitch to Scott Brocious. He's better than you are. 4 0 Yanks. Milton went five innings, gave up four runs. Bottom of the night, 7 0 Yanks. Ramiro Mendoza against Paul Molitor. Molitor. 
5-3, that'll end it. Yanks win it by a count of 7 to nothing, so that'd be 20 games when they score four or more. A five hitter and career shutout number one for Romero Mendoza. Derek Jeter had three of New York's 16 hits. The Yanks have now won 23 out of 26. Beyond the loss, the Twins got this piece of news. Rookie first baseman David Ortiz will miss two months after he had wrist surgery this coming week. White Sox and the A's, top of one. Frank Thomas is your batter. Blake Stein, his major league debut. Makes Thomas go away. Stein struck out eight. New record for an Oakland debuting pitcher. But he had Oakland shortstop Kurt Abbott behind him. Rough in the seventh. Will Cordero, the grounder. My bad. And then the routine pop-up. Newbie! He dropped that, too. Two errors in the inning. One more. The grounder, the rough throw. Takes Giambi off the bag. Abbott, three errors in the seventh. Chicago scored three unearned runs in that inning. Seventh inning, bases loaded. Abbott trying to redeem himself, but he sends a little popper, and Maglio Ordonez coming to get it. Oakland left 15 runners on base. Ninth inning, tying run on second, two outs. Just another case of the man keeping us down. Rough one for him. Abbott, the second player to make three errors in an inning. Alvarez serving up meat to B.J. Surhoff. His fourth of the season. Orioles go down by a count of three to two. Alvarez serves a second helping him meet. American Beef Council, Joe Carter, ties the game at three apiece, his third of the year. Alvarez gave up two more singles. Cal Ripken is your batter. And he rips it straight off Alvarez, off the thigh. He hustled to make the play at first, but it had to hurt. He had to leave the game. Gave up five hits, three earned runs in six innings. Eighth inning, score tied at three. Quentin McCracken, first of the year. Media pressure will be intense for his second. Devil Rays win it by a count of four to three. Esteban Yan, not pictured, got the win in relief with two scoreless innings. He's now 3 0. This was Tampa's first home win since April 13th. Though the wins are infrequent, the Devil Rays have the fewest errors of any team in the majors. Mom, or its mom. Scott Rowland. Jay Belt looking to get Doug Glanville. Throw bounces away. Phillies will score five in the first. Bottom of the seventh, Scott Rowland facing Russ Springer. All together now. Gone. Second homer of the game. Sixth of the season. Rolling six for nine in the three game set. The Phillies win it by the final of seven to four. The win puts the Phillies record. He's Todd Helton hitters. leading off the second. Go back and play winter ball here Gone. Todd Third on the year. This one off Miguel Batista. Camaro Rockies up one nothing. We move to the bottom of the seventh. Game tied at two. Two on two outs. Daryl Kyle facing Vladimir Guerrero and getting the win. Eight innings, four hits, two runs by Kyle. Top of the eighth. Dante Bichette doing it average wise, not power wise, until this bomb. Second home run of the year. First coming on April the second. Rockies led it four two. Went on to win it. Young. Base knock. John Nunley throws home. Home plate umpire Larry Vanover calls Al Martin out at the plate. You look at it again. Martin will beat the throw, beat the tag. But the Pirates got beat. Two on for Reggie Sanders, top 12. Brett Boone scores. And the Reds steal this one for a final of four to three. Stan Belinda, former Pirate, who is still being booed for losing Game 7 of the 1992 NLCS, was the winning pitcher in both of the Reds' victories this weekend. Al Martin responded.